Hola amigos, bien o no, y saludos otra vez desde Medellín. Hoy, cinco parábolas que ustedes pueden sentir un poco difícil para decir o para pronunciar. Para hoy, vamos a practicar juntos. Bueno, puedes pronunciar estas parábolas con un sonido perfecto y fluido. Listo. Okay, so here's the theme for today. Um, today, we're going to focus on sounds. Pronunciation and some sounds that perhaps coming from a Spanish-speaking alphabet might be a bit more difficult. So, five words that perhaps you think at first look might sound a particular way. I'm going to show you how these really sound in English. And to help us, we have a short uh, sentence to practice. But remember, when we practice this together in a minute, it's very important that you write down what you hear and don't worry too much about how we really spell the words. Because recuerdo, español es un lengua fonético. So Spanish is phonetic. What you write is what you say. English. English is not phonetic. Our spelling is a bit random, a bit strange. So better at the beginning just to write down how you hear it. Um, we can deal with the spelling later. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. Five words. So we have kernel, kernel, which I know really we perhaps we think it should be coronel, but it's kernel. Squirrel, squirrel, which is a small furry animal um, with a big tail that uh, lives in trees in the woods. Recipe, recipe, for what you're going to cook. Rural, rural, como el campo. And lastly, ought, ought which really means like, should I? We're asking a question. Ought I do this? Should I? Try to make a decision. Okay, so once again, we have kernel, squirrel, recipe, rural, and ought. So let's put these together into a easy to remember sentence. And we'll see, I've underlined in red each of the words that we hear here. Yeah? And one thing to notice here as well is there's another word in this, caught, which sounds very much like ought. But notice the spelling is different, but the sound sounds very similar. This is part of our problem in English. Lots of our sounds are very similar. But the way we try and spell this can be very different. Anyway, let's read the sentence. We'll do it a couple of times. Have a listen. Practice this one back out loud. And get a better sense of the sound, okay? The colonel caught the squirrel at his rural retreat. He had a recipe for squirrel pie, but wondered if he ought to eat the squirrel that he had caught. Mm -hmm. I'll read it one again. The colonel caught the squirrel at his rural retreat. He had a recipe for squirrel pie, but wondered if he ought to eat the squirrel that he had caught. So when we talk about a rural retreat, we mean like his house in the country. And squirrel pie, a pie is a common way we cook meat. It's in pastry, very, very popular. I don't say that squirrel pie is a popular dish in England, but a pie certainly is. Um, but I say notice that caught sounds very much like ought, because the ending is very similar, G-H-T. Let's read that one again for sound. The colonel 
caught the squirrel at his rural retreat. He had a recipe for squirrel pie, but wondered if he ought to eat the squirrel that he had caught. Good, yeah? I'm going to read this to you at normal speed, so you can hear the difference. Um, see how you find that. The Colonel caught the squirrel at his rural retreat. He had a recipe for squirrel pie, but wondered if he ought to eat the squirrel that he had caught. A little bit quicker. So we'll look at the words again, just so you get a nice sense of the sound. So we have Colonel, Squirrel, Rural, Ought. And we have also Recipe. I forgot that one from earlier. Recipe. Yeah. Let's add that to the list and make sure we've made that clear. Recipe. So we have Colonel, squirrel, rural, recipe, squirrel, ought. The colonel caught the squirrel at his rural retreat. He had a recipe for squirrel pie, but wondered if he ought to eat the squirrel that he had caught. There we go. I'll leave you to try that. Déjame saber en los comentarios if this was useful for you today. I hope uh, you found that helpful. Um, one tip with this, if you're finding these words difficult, split them into parts. Listen carefully to how we've read those back. Like recipe, for instance. It's really three short words. Recipe. Listen carefully to that. Try that for the other words. See how you get on. And um, maybe we'll have some more of these for you tomorrow. But for now at least, from Medellin, cheerio.